How's it going, Grady Nation? Chris Thomas here. Hope you're having a great a kind of day. What's what's with the seductive voice? Good times, Tom Lido. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, you're talking like, you know, this is so, uh, you know, uh, hot and steamy podcast or something. Hot and steamy. Well, I didn't mean to sound hot and steamy, whatever that means. But I just wanted to welcome everyone to the show. Thank you for listening. And we're going to be talking about the importance of getting in your uh, census responses. What? Yeah, that's right. I thought that was what you had wanted to talk about. That's what you said in the email. Well, I I think you might have misread things because I said I found a fail-proof system of getting out of responding to the census. Fail-proof system? Well, why would you want to get out of responding to the census? Well, I mean, a lot of the questions that were asked are pretty personal, don't you think? Well, I mean... The questions are asked because they want to learn more about who is living within communities so that they can provide funding to meet the needs of the people in the communities. Don't you want to help your community? Well, I want to help my community, but I don't want to do it at the expense of losing my privacy. I mean, the questions... It makes me feel like uh, the government's looking at me naked. The government is looking at you naked. Uh, so, what is it in terms of the fail-proof system? Because they send postcards in the mail, they send reminders in the mail, and they even have people that knock door to door, telling people, you know, please respond to the census. Exactly. That's. That's what I want to talk about. Okay, so what do you do when someone comes to your door, knocks and rings, and wants to get a response to the census questionnaire from you? Well, I have, as you know, a home security system. What do you mean, as I know? Uh, I've, I don't think I've been to your place. Well, I I assume that uh, because of your background, that you know you would attempt to rob. Attempt to rob? Oh, jeez. So, so you're profiling, huh? Well, I mean, it's just. I mean, just look at you. I mean, you look. You look like a criminal. I mean, I I think I saw you at. One of those uh, marches, marches uh, getting uh, pretty little looms and Nikes. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for the bigotry, I guess. But can you just say what you do with your home security system? Well, my home security system works in such a way that I'm able to see and hear what the person says when they come close to my uh, doorbell. And I'm able to communicate with them. Oh, so you have one of those where you can see them, you can hear them, and you're able to communicate back with them. And you don't even have to open the door. That's right. That's right. I have a really good, sophisticated home security system. So when one of the uh, nosy Nancy's who work for the census try to get my response and they say, oh, you know, knock, 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 oh, excuse me, oh, can you respond to the census, census worker here? Uh, this is uh, what I play over the home security system. It's a bird. We can barely wear this. We can't find it. We can't find it. We can't find it. 
Okay, that's audio of Ron Paul having a stroke. Why would you play that? Well, because they're less likely to bother you because they think you're just suffering a medical issue. So, so you're tricking the the census worker into thinking that you're having a health episode and that you can't respond to the census. I mean, you're going to that great of uh, effort to avoid getting out of responding to the census. I mean, why? And isn't it kind of inappropriate to use audio of someone who is actually having a stroke? To get rid of that, that's a burden. We can barely wear this. We can't find it. We can't put it in. Okay, uh, I'm not sure why. Why did you just play that? Well, to prove a point, because when the audio's playing, uh, you you can hear a pin drop. Everyone is very alarmed by it, so it's a good way of getting uh, out of having to respond. I mean, I mean, you didn't even say anything when you were hearing it. You you were so shocked. Well, I don't know if I was shocked. I've heard it before. I was just disappointed that you're exploiting an older person's suffering for personal gain. Well, I mean, when you when you characterize it that way, you make it sound so terrible. Well, I mean, it is terrible. You're playing audio of Ron Paul having a stroke just because you, you don't want to respond to the census. I mean, is this the only way that you're using this audio? Because I do know you. What's that mean? Well, I mean, you can accuse me of being a robber, but I'm going to accuse you of exploiting the audio for your benefit in a lot of different ways. Why don't you just come clean and and tell everyone how you use this audio? Because I bet you it's more than just trying to get out of the census. Well... Dale Pine, what do you think? I think that it's a very ingenious idea. Thank you so much, Dale. Why do you think it's an ingenious idea? Well, it's something where people are going to have sympathy for Good Times Tom Little when they hear that audio. They're going to think that he is in a lot of pain and that he should not be bothered. Yeah, and... I've been able to get free food from it. You've been able to get free food from it? Yeah, it's really good. It's something where I go to the drive throughs and when they say, excuse me, sir, what would you like for your order today? And instead of hearing me, you know, they hear uh, something that sounds like this. Okay, when one of those uh, teenage workers hear that, they say, oh no, sir, are you okay? Uh, Maybe a free chicken sandwich and some lemonade will make you feel better. So so you're taking free food from, (laughs) oh God. What what's wrong? I mean, that is just so tacky. You are going to the fast food drive throughs and when they ask you what the order is, you're playing that audio, and and they think that you're suffering, so they're giving you free stuff. I mean, that is just really gross. Again, I have to say, I think it's... A brilliant move. Thank you, Dale.
Bale, I, I don't know why you think it's so great because he, he's using Ron Paul's medical episode to get free food. I mean, doesn't that seem wrong to you? It, it seems very bad. I don't know. I, I, I have a lot of, a lot of concerns about this. I don't Pray know. That. Why, why are you playing it over me? Why are you doing that? Good time, Stumbledore. What are you doing? I, I, I was having a medical episode, and I think you could uh, be more respectful of me at this time. Oh, jeez. Uh, so, I bet this isn't the only way you are using this. Gee, I mean, you, he, I, you accuse me of being judgmental. You're the most judgmental person here. Okay, so just, you know, s spill it. Just be honest. I mean, what are you using this for? Well, I mean, if you're in a conversation and you want to get out of the conversation because you're bored or you're not interested, I think a good way of doing it is just playing the audio. So if you're talking with someone on the phone and they're discussing something and you're not interested anymore, that that's what you do? You play the audio? Yeah, you know, I had some friends who were trying to say, oh, can you believe that, that the president doesn't pay any taxes? He pays $750 a year in taxes. And, and instead of hearing me, uh, you know, they heard uh, something else, and they they heard uh, they it heard this. Okay? We have to get they rid heard... of that. That's a bird. Yeah. We have to get rid of that. Yeah, bird. What kind of bird? What kind of bird? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they heard. That's what they heard. And I have no reservations about it. I'm very pleased with my decision. Because every time I've played the audio, uh, the conversation uh, just stops. Ouch. It's it's really good. It's effective. We have very worried. What kind of So when people are trying to talk with you about serious stuff and you just want to bail, you you play Ron Paul having a stroke. Yeah, it's a good idea. And actually, I encourage people listening to the podcast to uh, use this in their daily life. No, that, that's the opinion of Good Times Tom Lido. From the perspective of Chris Thomas, do not do this. Do not take that audio and exploit it. It's wrong. Don't. Try and get out of responding to the census by playing that audio. Don't get free food from the drive through by playing that audio as they're trying to talk to you over the intercom. And don't scare people that care about you by playing that audio when you're having a conversation. It's just, I don't know. It, it, it's highly unethical and it's in such bad taste. That's a bird. We have very worried. What kind of bird? What kind of bird? What kind of bird? What kind of bird? Is that the part? What were you saying? Yeah, I, 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 I was having an episode. Oh boy. I just, I don't know what to make of you, Good Times Tomado. I, I don't really think anyone should be doing this. Well, we should celebrate diversity. I mean, you are talking about the census. Well, you don't even want to respond to the census. So your argument doesn't carry any water. Well, well, 
I mean, don't you get angry about it? I mean, geez, pretty soon you're going to start sounding like this. I have to get rid of that. That's a burden. We haven't been very What kind of bad have been? What? What's that? It's speaking in tongues. Oh my gosh. Chris Thomas is speaking in a way that we don't even understand him anymore. We gotta, we gotta take care of him. Uh, you know, there's a special place for people like you that use audio in a deceptive way of people that are actually suffering. Okay? You gotta stop. CBS News' Serene Branson is live at the Staples Center with highlights and backstage coverage we're seeing for the very first time. Serene. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Darrison fight. Let's go to Terrace Chase and those for the bit. Yeah, a very heavy, heavy rotation. So, what's that audio all about? Center with highlights and backstage. Will you coverage stop we're it? Seen for the very first time, Serene. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy rotation tonight. We had a very Darrison fight. Let's go to Harris Chase and the. A very heavy rotation. A very, very Darrison. Uh, Denton Moore be stew and all that jazz. Yeah, it, this is something that works for, for women too. If you're a woman who wants to get out of conversations, get free food, or end obnoxious phone conversations, just, just, just play this, this audio. Highlights and backstage and you're going to be for the very first time really three. doing well. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Darrison fight. Let's go to Terrace Chase and those for the bit. They have the pit. Yeah, behind the pit. Behind the pit. Behind the pit. And then maybe you can have a conversation between two people to to really, uh, you know, uh, spice spice things up. We am very worried. What kind of bad have been? Is that the part? You, you usually probably cut that part out. All right, Great A Nation. I think this has been the most uh, despicable thing I've ever been a part of. Oh, well, he's... You know, you try and be so high and mighty. I mean, they all fine. He tries to be high, high and mighty, but we know the real him. That's right, my friend. Yes. The real Chris Thomas would eagerly use any audio if it meant free food, no census workers, or ending lousy phone conversations. No, I don't try and scam restaurants for free food. I, I actually responded to the census. Oh yeah, right. Baloney. Yeah, you probably you probably said that you were, you know, a, a Cantonese or something. What? Yeah, I bet you just filled up the whole form of lies. Well, I mean, why don't you do that if if you're so concerned about your privacy being invaded, just put false answers. Actually, that's, uh, that, that's not a bad idea, but it's, it's still not as good as... Better that, that's a burden. We can be very just... What kind of Paul? You know, now that I think about it, I'm going to uh, play this in the movie theaters when everything gets back to normal, so people will think, "Oh, uh, let's let's take care of this person. Let's let's give him some care, and it'll be a nice way to pick up some some chicks." Uh, all right, Greater Nation. Uh, there you have it. Now he's going to 
Uh, use the audio to act as a predator on innocent women. Don't do what Good Times Tom Lado does. That's the lesson for the day. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this installment. I know I didn't, but we'll see you next time.